Hi everyone, hope you all are doing really well and this is again a very important topic which is exception handling in Java. So I think when you're uh, going for some organization, so let's, I'll just name it like for example, uh, Sapient, I have given an interview I think last year. This has been the questions which has been asked even I think Nagaru is the organization where an exception handling is asking to me. So this is the questions you really need to understand. This is very important question and uh, like custom exceptions is also a very important question so wherein we'll be having a different kind of exceptions how to handle exceptions we'll have it in this video so before going in i want you to subscribe to my channel and please like and share as much as as you can so that it will be helpful to those people who are in need so these are very important videos guys. Right? do share it with them so if you're not preparing for interview and you are you are my subscriber do share with your friends so that it will helpful in this time as many of the people as many of you know this is a recession time many of the people are getting laid off from the job and testing is the testers are the most uh, suffering area in that thing because most of the testers will because if you see developers or testers so most of the time testers will get laid off so if like five testers laid off and uh, it will be like five person has to be laid off so it will be three days to two so three will be the testers and two will be the developers so uh, please help those guys do share these videos so that that will helpful for them okay so to design to due to design errors or coding errors our programmers may fail in unexpected ways during executions and exceptions is a condition that is caused by runtime error in the program the purpose of the exception handling mechanism is to provide means to detect and report an exceptional circumstances probably i'll be having one more video wherein I'll have more of exceptions like what is IO exceptions and all but now this is the basics of exceptions and will you have in part 2 and you want me to make part 2 do put it in the comment section I'll definitely come up with the part 2 section wherein you will be having the exact detail deep diving into exceptions uh, what is error so there is exceptions and there is an error so error may produce an incorrect output or may terminate the executions of the program abruptly or even may cause the systems to crash so it's it's so it is our responsibility to detect and manage the error properly types of error there are runtime errors there are logic errors there are syntax errors so runtime error uh, error occur when if the environment detects an operations that is impossible to carry out logical errors which is program doesn't perform the perform uh, program the way it was intended to. Syntax error arises because the rules of the language have not been followed. They are detected by the compiler itself. So, uh, example of runtime error. So, you have a public PSVM and then int a equals to 10, integer b equals to 5. You have defined the variables here. Then you integer a x equals to a by b plus c. So, you wanted to print uh, x equals to string of a uh, string space plus x. So, and then integer y a equals to a by b minus c. So, error division by 0. System by 1. So, if you divide by 0, it will give you the infinity, right? Just know uh, this one. The infinity will not be counted. So, yeah, that, that's way the one second. So that's in this place if you see system dot 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 print it will print it but here it will it error division by zero. So division by zero gives you an error. Okay. Errors and error handling. Some typical cause of error is like memory error, file system error, network error and calculation errors. So memory error that is memory in incorrectly allocated memory leaks that is null pointers. Okay and uh, file system errors disk is full this has been removed network errors network is down url does not exist calculation errors divide by zero so these are the very important thing you should be knowing about the errors this is the basics you know this this basics has to be clear right um, errors and error handling more more typical cause of errors is array error accessing element minus one conversation conversion errors convert q to a number character to the number can you think of some others you can tell me guys errors and error handling exceptions a better error handling exceptions are the mechanism that provides the best of both the worlds exceptions act 
exception acts similar to method written flags that an any method may arise an exception should it encounter an error exception act like a global error methods in that the exception mechanism is built into java exceptions are handled at many levels in a program locally or globally exceptions how do you handle an exceptions to handle the exceptions you write a code try catch block so even in the automation tests when you write the method do write it in try catch block so it will help you to catch the exceptions easily and that is a best practices also to pass the exceptions up the chain you declare the throws clause in your method or a class description if the method contains code the mac that may cause a checked exception so you must handle the exceptions or pass the exceptions to the parent class remember every class has a object which is ultimately a parent class coding exception so coding exception which is one is try catch mechanism whenever you code may trigger an exception so the normal code logic is placed inside the block of code and starting with try keyword after a try block the code to handle the exceptions it arise in the place in a block of code starting with catch a keyword so this try catch exception definition is standard java exception so there will be throwable then we have exceptions and error then runtime exceptions and io exceptions so these are the exception name also you have to input output stream exceptions so uh, these are the names of the exceptions and under that exception it will come this one so throwable is a super class and then we have exception class that has to be extended by the runtime exceptions and io exceptions catch exceptions so wrap a code to be checked in try try block checking exceptions order all the way down the exception stack try uh, try blocks can be nested okay control uh, resume at most enclosed matching can handle so you can have different try blocks you can have one catch block so you don't have to catch again and again but you can try different kind of code right so then we have try catch finally also in a, a java exceptional handling where you can see this one we'll be having it in maybe in the part 2 and if you really want me to make a part 2 do comment and i really have a good content for my whatever i have studied this one is the basics and i always come up with the basic and then with the detailed version so if you want me to make a detailed version and i think this is a very important topic and definitely i'm going to come up with the detailed version so now example try normal program code then exceptions this is the way we have to write it okay um uh, coding exceptions and the type of exceptions so public void method throws exceptions whatever exceptions public void my method throw io exception so when you when you put io exceptions you have to throw that exceptions okay so that that can handle it will not give you programmatical error compile error it will not give you okay one second now code example demonstration of the unchecked exceptions null point exceptions demonstration of the check exceptions passing by divide zero exceptions handling a divide by zero exception so there are checked and unchecked ex uh, exceptions also which wanna cover it into the next video but for now i think this is the basic like try catch and we'll be having more on finally and stuff like that but this are the basic things which you gonna have the basic of checked and unchecked exceptions now we're gonna come to conclusions exceptions are powerful handling mechanism exceptions in java are built into the language exceptions can be handled by the programmer try catch or handled by the java environment throws how we can handle the exceptions right so exception handling can only hide the errors it cannot correct correct the errors so sometimes when you have the exceptions it will catch the exceptions it will hide the exceptions so that in the compile time you will have do not have the errors and uh, the programmatical errors but if you really have the syntactical errors or runtime errors it may uh, you know Uh, you really need to fix that those errors which is runtime errors that cannot be handled through your exceptions so um, you really have to fix that otherwise you will be having your program will fail so that that's the reason we have a run errors and the exceptions uh, thank you guys there's someone in the belly uh, thank you guys please subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for my next video